All right. Okay, this is number three on page 43 in um, the packet. Um, this is similar to the ones that are going to be on the quiz on next class. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so 624.08 grams of aluminum hydroxide react with 588.48 grams of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Determine the mass of water which could be produced. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to do is balance the equation. Okay. And again, um, make sure that you know how to balance this. This one, as you can see, has um, has like a an SO4. Wow, there's other O's, so I don't know. I guess you don't have to do it that way. Either way, whatever. Just you balance it. Two, three, one, six. Okay, that's a little bit trickier one to balance. Okay, molar mass, again, make sure you can find this. I'm going to put what I got, but you better make sure that you calculate it because some of these are a little tricky. Okay, because if you can't find the molar mass, then the whole thing is going to be thrown off. Okay. Uh, one, five grams per mole and 18.02 grams per mole. Okay, so make sure that you know how to find um, the molar mass. All right, so you need to actually calculate those. Okay. Now, again, this one, it's given in grams, okay, instead of in moles, all right? So that means you're going to have to convert it, okay? So the aluminum hydroxide has 624.08 grams, and I'm going to multiply by the molar mass. So since grams is on the top, I have to put grams on the bottom in order to cancel it, okay? And that's going to give me 8 moles of this, all right? And this one started with 588.48 grams, Okay, and it has 98.08 grams in one mole. So I'm going to divide that, cancel the grams, and this is going to give me six moles. Okay, so remember, this is the new extra step when it's given grams. Otherwise, in the problem, right, it would have said eight moles of this and six moles of this. That's all you're trying to do is find out how many moles it is so you can start the problem. Okay, all right, so my equations, I have the ALOH3, uh, the H2SO4, this big, giant, scary looking thing, and water, okay? All right, so let's look at the equations, okay? So uh, the aluminum hydroxide, all right, it's a, it's a reactant, so it's gonna lose two every time, and it started with eight, okay? The sulfuric acid is also a reactant, so it's gonna lose three every time, and it started at six, okay? Um, this one is a product, all right? So it's going to gain uh, one every time, and it started with nothing because the products always start with nothing, all right? And then the water is going to gain six every time and started with nothing, okay? All right, now it's time to make the graph. So let's go through, and I'm going to do, whoops, I'm going to do my reaction pro progress this way. Come on, change color. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so the reaction progress is going to go like this. Okay, right? And then the moles is going to be this, okay? Because I need to get up to at least eight, maybe more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it by twos. Okay, so remember this side is moles. This side is reaction progress. Okay, all right, now let's go ahead and graph them. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and graph these. So um, let's see. I'll make this one green. Okay. So it's going to start at eight. And then every time the reaction goes, it's going to lose two. Okay. So it goes over to the next reaction line, which is going to be two boxes. It goes to six. Okay. It's going to go down two and over one, down two and over one, right? Even though it's two boxes, that's still only counting as one cycle. Okay. Down two and over one. Okay. All right, so here goes this one, okay? All right, my H2SO4, let's make blue, and I'm gonna start it at six, and then every time the reaction progresses, it's gonna lower by three, okay? The reaction progresses, it lowers by three, okay? So that's slightly steeper, all right? And then this one is going to gain one every time. So I'm going to start at nothing because it's a product. And then I'm going to go over one cycle, up one, over a cycle, up one, over a cycle, up one, et cetera, et cetera. But I can see already I don't even need to go that far. Okay. And then the water is making like a ton. 
every time it's making six. Okay, so the water is going to start here. Over one cycle, it's going to make six moles. Okay, over a cycle, it's going to make six. Over a cycle, I don't even have space, so hopefully that's enough. Okay, if it doesn't work out, you're going to have to redraw it. All right, so just that's why I would use a pencil. Okay, all right, now it's time to pick out who the limiting reactant is. Okay, so as I watch the reaction progress go across, I can see that the first one to run out is this one, okay, the sulfuric acid, okay? So I'm going to make a vertical line here because that's where the reaction is going to stop. After this, I've run out of one of them, so like this stuff over here can't even happen, okay, because this is where it's going to run out, okay? So that makes my limiting reactant the, whoops, the blue one, which is H2SO4, Okay, and that means my excess is going to be the green, which was ALOH3. Okay, all right, so reaction completion, let's go through each of them and see what we have left. H2SO4. God, these are really long to write with this tablet. And thank goodness for water. Okay, all right, so let's see what we've, what we've got. Okay, all right, so... Um, when the reaction completes, okay, the H2SO4 is run out, so that's going to be zero moles. That's why he's the limiting reactant, okay? The green one I can see, right, when the reaction stops, I'm going to have four moles left, okay? And then let's look at the product. So the purple one here is at two, okay? So I'm going to have two moles of this left. And then the water, which is actually what we're really looking for, it looks like I'm going to make 12 moles of that. That's a lot. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me see if I can do this. Um, make sure you go back and pause that if you need it. Don't save. Paste. Oh, see, I got smarter. Okay, good. All right. Okay. So now let's look at the BCA table. Okay. All right. Now let's see what we have. Um, Let's see what we have left. Okay, so we're gonna have the. Oops, I gotta go back to. Oh no, stop. Click, stop. Pencil. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna have um, in the first column. I've started with eight moles. Okay, of this, and these are gonna be really hard to write in here because they're really so many. Okay, I started with six moles of sulfuric acid, and the products start with nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, the limiting reactant was the sulfuric acid. So that's the one that's going to lose everything and have nothing left. Okay. Which this is going to become the basis now for all the rest of the reaction. Okay. So all of these are going to have six of these. Okay. And he's going to gain six sulfuric acids and a ratio. He's going to gain six sulfuric acids and a ratio. Okay. All right. So the limiting reactant goes here and it's the basis for the whole thing. These are minus because they're reactants. These are plus because they're products that's getting made. Okay. Now I have to do the ratios. All right. So since I have H2SO4 on the top, that's what I need on the bottom. So if I look at my equation, there's going to be three moles of H2SO4 every time the reaction happens. Okay. And I want that on the bottom so that it cancels out. Then I want to know how many of the stuff do I make that I care about, okay? So then if I look up again at the ratios, there's two of these, okay? Because that's the coefficient in the ratio, all right? This one has one of these giant things that I can't write, okay? And then this one's a six waters, okay? Right, now I just have to figure out what I've done. Okay, so negative six times two thirds, okay, is gonna be uh, negative four. So eight minus four is gonna leave me with four. Okay, remember, a lot of people are messing up. You're not writing this number. This is the change number. You have to subtract it from what you start with. Okay, which is a little confusing because on this side it works the same either way because it starts at zero. Okay, so six times a third is two. So zero plus two is going to give me two moles of this, okay? L2SO43, okay? And six times six thirds, which is two. So six times two is 12. So I'm going to get 12 moles of water, 
All right, so then I'm gonna check back to my graph and I'm gonna make sure that this matches what my graph says, okay? And if it doesn't, then you know you made a mistake. And I saw a lot of people checking that, so that was really good, okay? All right, now we can look at what we're actually trying to find in the problem, which is how much water is produced, okay? So I know I've got 12 moles of water, but they didn't ask for how many moles of water, they asked for the mass of the water. So now I have to go back to my molar mass. And since I have moles on the top, I need to have moles on the bottom. Okay, and the molar mass always has one with the moles. All right, and then it's gonna be 18.02 grams of water. Okay, and then that is gonna give me 216.24 grams of water. Make sure you put what it is too, okay? Not just grams, grams of water. Okay, all right. Okay, now, uh, that concludes the problem. Now, if you're going to do it with dimensional analysis, right, which you need to know how to do because it's going to be um, not always so clean numbers for the graph, okay, you need to first test for the limiting reactant, all right? So if I had 8 moles of the aluminum hydroxide, okay, um, and I also had 6 moles of the, the hydrosulfuric acid, Oh, sulfuric acid, okay? All right, times, and then I'm gonna do the ratios, and I wanna see how much product I'm gonna make. So let me just see about the water because that's the one I know that I want, and then I will save myself some time, okay? So then I'm gonna look at the ratios, and I know there are two moles of this, okay? Every time I make six moles of water, okay? So this, if I use up all of this, I could get eight times six over two, which is three. I could make 24 moles of water. Okay. If I use up all the sulfuric acid, there's three of those in my ratios. Every time I make six moles of water. Okay, six times six over three, which is two, is going to be 12 moles of water. Okay. So the limiting reactant has to be this one because it makes less. All right, so I'm going to label this as my limiting reactant. This one is my excess. So this does not happen. This is, was theoretical, okay? What really is going to happen is I'm going to make 12 moles of water, which, again, should match with what you found in the first place, okay, with the graph and the BCA table, okay? Now, if you want to do limiting reactant um, all the way through from the beginning, okay, with dimensional analysis, right, we would have to test them, and we would have to see we're going to start with Okay, the hydrosulfuric, the sulfuric acid is going to be 50, sorry, 588.48 grams of H2SO4. Okay, then I have to turn it into moles. So I'm going to have 98.08 grams of it in one mole of it. Race against the clock, 15 minutes video. Okay, all right, so then that'll cancel, and that's how I got six moles. That's where this number came from in the first place. Okay, then I'm going to do the ratio step, which is the same thing that I see in um, in the BCA table right here. Okay, so I know in my ratios, I'm going to use three moles of the H2SO4 every time I make six moles of water. Okay, that's the ratio step. Okay, this is molar mass. Whoops, and then I have the ratio step. Okay, so now that cancels out. OK, now I'm left with moles of water. So if I multiply all this out so far, I should get 12 moles of water. That's the step that I'm at now. OK, and then the last step I have to do is going to be this step, which is turning it back into grams. All right. So then I can keep going and then I want one mole of water on the bottom. OK, and then I want the molar mass of 18.02 grams of water on the top. Cancel, cancel. OK. So once all that's canceled out, if I go 588.48 times 1 times 6 times 18.02, because those are all on the top, then divided by 98.08, divided by 3, divided by 1, who cares? That's how I'm going to get this, okay? And you should actually do it out with your calculator and check it to make sure it matches. All the answers should be the same, okay? If they're not, then you know you made a mistake, okay? So in real life, right, not in real life, or if we're not doing all this extra work, you could basically just do this, okay? You'd have to also test to see what's the limiting reactant first, but then this gets you to the whole answer all in one step, okay, which is what you'll have to do probably in the lab. Ooh, just made it. Four seconds to spare.